Hey, it's Friday morning. Last night I followed some tutorials and figured out how to model glasses. I watched this extensive tutorial by William Kempton. I cleaned up the photos I took of a pair of Ray-Bans at the glasses store. I did a pretty rough job of this in GIMP, which it turns out isn't impossible to use. I put the top, side, and front view in Fusion using the insert image as canvas command. I read up a little bit on glasses lens material because the tutorials have you design the lenses around a sphere so that the shape is correct for the piece of glass or plastic you're gonna put in. So you need to decide the diameter of the sphere. It turns out there's lots of specific things to know about glasses lenses. I stuck with the figure that they used in the tutorial. In the sculpt mode, I used the create faces tool with object snapping on to map the shape of the front of the glasses to the sphere. You can see here how the faces snap to the sphere behind. I learned to use the different selection filters, then I mirrored the shape across the central axis. I merged the two sides, then adjusted the bend using the rotate command, anchored one face away from the bridge. I used the uncrease command to give a rounder finish to some of the edges. I used the edit faces command again to pull out the nose bridge piece. After bending the frames, I had to relocate the sphere in the center of the glasses frames using the move and inspect tools. I used zero millimeter offsets of the sphere and the interior edge of the glasses to cut out a lens shape. I put a pair of chamfers on either side of the glasses lens to create a sharp edge. And then I cut that edge out of the glasses frames. I was really happy the tutorial covered that because I had no idea how to do it myself. Once the glasses were finished, I started to play with the rendering tools. I put them in the desert, played with lighting, scale, and animation too. I only worked on the front part of the glasses because the tutorial I was following had no hinge, and I've already done some work on the arms that'll hold the computer. So now I'm off to the lab to print up the front of the glasses and start to integrate the arm pieces with this new front piece I designed. It drips from the ceiling here. Bad fillet. Makes it wet on your head. Look how stupid. Much better. This morning I printed these 3D glasses. The plastic wasn't sticking to the platform, so Raf told me to use some of this glue. It printed all right after that. We're running out of some of the colors I want, and it's a bummer. It's nice to really quickly be able to get something in yellow. I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to print them because the bottom surface is usually the roughest. I printed them in this orientation, but I'm not sure it's the best. I hit them with 150 sandpaper and I put them on and they look pretty crazy. <laughs> the shape just isn't right. I think they're too big in the top corners and just too big for my face. They look nice in the plants. Overall, the print's pretty so-so. It's pretty rough looking, but it's smooth at a distance and there's no jagged pieces left over from the support material. I think I'll make them smaller and tighter in the corners and also maybe a bit flatter. The Ray-Bans they're based on really tilt like this, so I think I could flatten them out, maybe pitch the arms up a little bit. I could either make this piece wider or chop it off entirely. I looked at a lot of other glasses and a lot of them are flat. I'm not sure about the nose nubbins. They're okay, but it's hard to tell without the arms attached. Thank you.